guys i don't like opening champagne because of what once happened to me Ooh. yay i wish i was popping like this celebrating something but clearly not let me pour myself a glass of glass Class Venta Danke. Here and there, there and here. Top of vibes. In a give a look. You guys don't wanna know who's letting my dear. <laughs> Anyways, hi guys and welcome. What is that? Oh, Okay, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Gamo coming back to you with another video. I was literally, I'm on vacation, but I am not doing well. I just submitted um, for some campaign that I'm working with. And after that, I was just in the mood of filming. I thought, why not do a story time? And I was taking pictures of hands that looked like this. And I was like, I'm not gonna change because I'm on vacation anyways. So I might as well. And I hope that that guy drilling downstairs is not making so much of a noise. Um, and yeah, guys, I hope you guys are good. It's been a minute. And today we are doing a story time. You guys know I suck at multitasking and I'm not doing my makeup today anyway, so I'm not gonna be doing anything. I'm just gonna be talking with you guys. And of course, courtesy, um, I will be drinking my verve. What is this? I'm not, I don't even like, oh, this is rosé. I don't like rosé, I like rich. But anyways, we're still gonna be drinking our rosé. <laughs> Kidding. Um, There's so many noises happening here, but anyways. As you can tell from the title of the video, uh, this is, this story time is literally about me when I was still rebellious. I kind of miss that, I kind of miss that girl because sometimes I feel like people just play on my head because they know Hurikama is calm. But they don't know. <laughs> you know, I usually look. I know that I can get there. Like I can get there, but I choose not to because when I'm there, it's very difficult to get me there. You know, when I'm really mad. This is me talking about. So I also disclaimer. I just like to put it out there and let you guys know that this was me when I was still 16, 17. I still had a lot of anger. I was still, but at that time, um, I was seeing social workers. I was seeing what is this, the anger management coach, and uh, I was just going through the most at a very young age, and I was just so angry. Um, so yeah i would always find myself look drama loves me even till this day in my life drama is just always looking like young like it just haunts me right so you can imagine but right now it's a bit better because i know how to i'm more mature and i know how to handle situations back then i oof, if you know me, <laughs> if you know me, if you know the camel back then, if you know Ms. Maya, you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, so, yeah, I, I, I remember that day very, very vividly because of obviously the incident, right? So I went out, I went out with my partner then. I was dating a girl, the girl that I'm always talking about. I've only dated one woman. So I'm dating this girl and uh, we go out. She was literally like very a very outgoing person. So we go out at some place in, in port, right? Um, and we literally just chilled. It was fun. You know, if you know port, you know that port is like a very, it's, it's, it's like, it's the hood right so we went to the hood and we were eating boom and i'm hodu just chilling like after the whole weekend of partying and everything we went to this particular place where everyone just comes and just it's literally just like a chilled vibe where we listen to both celine dion and is it 
am I exaggerating? Celine Dion. <laughs> okay, not Celine Dion, but your soul type of music, right? So yeah, that's um we we thingied, we we said we had fun. I was with this one friend of mine. Um I used to call her my best friend back then. Um I have nothing against her. I still love her. We just life just took us different um took us to different paths and uh you know we're not friends anymore but uh yeah i was with her and we were literally just like chilling drinking blah 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 and um i just i find that i just always loved attention so if we're at groove best belief i'm not gonna sit down and just look i will dance i will I will go to the bathroom and come back. So I was, you know when you go to the bathroom five times but you don't know why you're going to the bathroom? <laughs> I would do that, literally do that. I, I don't understand it till this day, but I used to do that, okay? So again, not, oh, I'm going to the bathroom, I'm coming back because it gets boring when when you're not, you know, when you're not everywhere, groove and whatever. I personally get bored. I wanna talk, I wanna interact, I wanna laugh, I wanna have fun. So I was doing that and my that the girl that I was dating understood the kind of person that I was so I didn't have to shy away from talking to people and she would literally know okay my girl is there she's interacting with other people but it's it's innocent you know um so yeah I was then walking from the bathroom coming back where we were seated and there was a group of guys literally chilling in a circle <laughs> Uh, right and amongst those group of guys there is my ex-boyfriend who by the way hates hated i don't know if he still does i don't care who hated um my girlfriend then and mind you these people have had an altercation because of me not that i'm proud but it was just a. Uh, I remember the altercation was mainly based on the guy felt the need to come greet me and my girl was like no what the fuck who the fuck are you and the guy that <laughs> I'm like oh my gosh okay valga sorry guys you know who are you and stuff like that so it was always a why are you greeting my girl and this one was on the why are you dating a girl like you know so i don't even think it was a it, it, it was more of an ego thing i think the guy was being teased by his friends that dude you know what i mean <laughs> so his ego would always literally just like push him to do the craziest things so this group of guys are literally standing more quick like where you exit so there's no everyone that passes out has to go through them right and man i was on my stilettos my 14 inch type of vibe stilettos on my short dress i was skinny i looked like a model back then and i was just feeling myself drinking champagne one thing about my ex-girlfriend she made sure she made sure we like she made sure i don't want to dwell into it but she made sure right so i come back from the bathroom and i obviously have to pass through this group of people when i walked past when i was going to the bathroom they called me and i was like nah like don't call me you know that vibe that why are you calling me like i was like why are you calling me <laughs> the guys <laughs> acting and then i come back and my ex and i were okay i think we were okay the problem was when i was with my girl he would act so yana he was fine and i'm like excuse me can i pass and his best friend was there and his best friend understood the kind of relationship we had so he also didn't have a problem with me and his friend was dating to my friend so all the others all the other friends were i didn't i knew but we were not close like that or we never really interacted like that so they never really understood the formality or how our relationship was or even the kind of person that i am because people talk and it's unfortunate that when people talk uh whatever you hear in most cases is 
you stick to that right people don't never really have the chance to meet you in person therefore they always have this perspective that someone else told them of you and obviously if a girl's gonna break your your friend's heart you hate that girl it's only normal if you love your friend right so um I wanted to pass him. I remember there was this other boy who was literally standing there amongst the friends, of course, and he was smoking. So he's smoking and he's holding his, his cigarette like this. And then I was wearing, I was wearing a, a open shirt. No. We're going to continue with this. No, I don't want. I get a full of shit. Okay, please. Huh? Please. There's something that I would like to read. Do you even read books? Oh. Anyway, anyways, guys, uh, we're not going to let distractions distract us. We're going to continue like nobody's in this room. Don't move that camera! Don't move that camera! Don't move that camera! No! You can't move it. Oof. Let's go. No, can I just finish up? Let's go. But you. You found me, Joe. <laughs> come, let's go, Joe. This is working. What do you mean? Come, let's go, babe. Come. This is. It looks like things have changed, uh, um, guys. So I had to. Uh -huh. I had to. Um, I had to change locations. Well, I got busy while I was busy with the story time. Let me just fix my camera. Um, I got busy as I well as you guys saw somebody walked in and uh, <clears throat> I had a little bit of stuff like I had duties to get to so I just got back home now um, and yeah where did I leave off okay so from what I remember right let me put my phone on do not disturb and finish this off because if not we're not gonna finish so from what I remember, oh, I was talking about the group of guys that were, so there was this one particular guy who just had a personal vendetta against me. Again, guys, I'm so sorry that I'm changing my, my, um, my position that is because of circumstances or whatever. So like I was saying, um, baby boy just had a personal vendetta against me for what I really do not know. Like this guy just literally didn't like me okay whatever um i was like can i please pass and my ex and his friend closed the circle right and we're giggling because it was like funny and stuff like that and i'm like ha 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 guys okay funny but can we just do this right and then they were like no we're not gonna let you go you're going home with us they were kidding and this nigga is he was smoking cigarettes like I said and then he smokes and then he ashes on my boobs <laughs> Y'all didn't see me I You know when you see something happen and when your body then reacts it's two different things, right? So I saw let me just check if this camera is actually recording because sometimes it was recording um when I felt when I felt the cigarette on my boobs, I was like, "Lo young dry." The champagne glass that I was holding landed on his head. I was like, "Dude, it is not happening. Like, what in the world is actually happening? Why are you ashing on my boobs?" And overall, I think the thing that really made me mad was the fact that you're even saying like this guy was literally like, "Oh, so you're the you're the Ms. Maya everyone is talking about." I'm like, "What?" I don't care like I didn't care about what he said it was it was it was in his sass and for the fact that you're ashing on my boobs it's like I will show you I will show you who Bruce Lee is I literally hit my champagne glass on this guy's head um, and he started bleeding and like I said back then I had anger and if I if I'm not satisfied with what I've done I'm not gonna stop they took away they separated me and this guy and I remember at one point they pushed they pulled him to their car and then at the other um they pushed him to his car and then I was pushed I was pushed aside also and I remember just saying I don't know how everybody 
like believed that I wanted to apologize but I remember just saying to my girlfriend and my friend I'm like guys I just want to apologize I'm sorry that just shows how much of a good actor I am I'm like guys I'm so sorry I just want to apologize this is not me they pushed that guy it like a mod when I saw those guys like oh okay <laughs> I was like excuse me sir you think I'm gonna apologize apologize for what kicked him with my 14 inch on his literally I kicked him we fought again and that's when I felt like a part of me feels like I've done something because the champagne thing it didn't amount to the to the to how disrespected I felt and how you just feel like as a guy you can just ash on like I was just I was literally out of this world I was I was mad and yeah so i hate the fact that i had to finish the story time like this but respect on its own was just it was ridiculous it was ridiculous um i think also this story time um the reason why i wanted to 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 to, to tell the story is because i can't remember, oh i remembered something earlier and i just something similar happened to me not so long ago and the response that i had now or then when it happened and the, the, at, like it was just like I was looking at how I've improved as a person and I was just like oh. right so I just felt so disrespected I was like it is not happening guys again I am so sorry I'm so sorry that I had to finish my story time like this I hope you guys do enjoy the story time please tell me not please let me know if you want to hear more from me and uh, till next time I will see you guys later. Bye.